There has been a history of brewing in the town since 1755, when Hartley's was the main concern, until taken over by Robinson's Brewery in 1991. Ulverston now has two microbreweries, Stringers, and in the centre of town, the Ulverston Brewing Company. This used to be the former auction mart, uh, built in 1885, I think it was. The old premises, we actually outgrew. We couldn't brew any more. We were at full capacity and we were falling over each other. But we couldn't have gone to this to start off with. We needed to know whether it worked, so we bought an ex-brewery from Whitley Bridge, which we modified quite a bit. And from there, we just developed our beers. This is a nine gallon cask. On the old plant we could get about 18 of these out of one brew. We can now get about 44. Our beers are Ulverston with a crest, because we were granted that from the Town Council. As long as the beer quality was okay, we were allowed to use it. And all our beer names, obviously, with a Lauren Hardy connection, we wanted it all to be associated with Ulverston. So if our beer travels, they know where it's come from, you know, it's whole identity. And we're both born and bred in Ulverston. We've now got a proper visitors area, tables and chairs, little bar. So I'm looking forward to having people in to sort of like talk to them about the brewing process and, and uh, telling them about the area, you know, just to have a bit of contact with people and telling them about Ulverston as well. So that's the main, you know, it'd be quite nice. Paul eventually will take over the brewing side and I'll be the other side of the bar. This building is ideal because we're sort of only sort of 20, 20 yards away from the bus station. The train station is just up the road, so it's ideal to come on public transport. We're just around the corner from the Lauren Hardy Museum, also the statue of Lauren Hardy, and just around the next corner, the Stan Laurel pub, which is quite, you know, a nice little, you know, come here, go to the museum, have a few pints at the pub, or tasting behind the bar. We hope it's adding something to the town. I think, you know, the bigger the package for Ulverston, if there's more and more things, to, you know, to do in Ulverston, people are going to travel. And, and if we can make them feel welcome and tell them about other things that are on in the area, not just here, like Swarthmoor Hall and the Animal Park, and there's quite a lot on our doorstep. The lakes, the Cumbrian Way actually starts in, in the Gill. You know, it's a good, uh, good little town and everybody's friendly here.